Hello, friends. Welcome back to Chiago with Lutin. Today's video is about eyes, the exercise for our eyes. As I have been diagnosed a few months ago that I have severe dry eye disease, the meibomian gland disorder. <sighs> it is only fitting that I do a video in which I well, I should not be overly obsessed with every little technical details or redo what a word I didn't pronounce correctly. That being said, please watch this video all the way to the end. We will cover three exercises. I will show you a technique using one finger, just the one finger of yours that would help to strengthen the muscles in our eyes, help to maintain the health of the eyes for a brighter vision for the future. And now let's get started. Please remove your glasses or your contact lenses before we start. And you might be doing the exercise standing, sitting, or lying down. To begin, open your eyes big. Look forward. If you can look through a window, look as far as you can. It would be nice you are outdoors doing this exercise. Bring your gaze to between your eyebrows. Hold between five to 10 seconds. Maybe about three breaths. Bring your gaze forward. Relax. Feel free to blink your eyes. Now gaze to the tip of your nose. Hold for three breaths. Gaze forward, relax. Feel free to close your eyes or blink your eyes. We're gonna repeat this exercise. You might hold longer if you wish, or blink or close your eyes at any time. Gaze up between your eyebrows, We are strengthening the muscles and the ligaments in the eyes. This helps to relieve the eye fatigues. And gaze forward. Relax. Either close your eyes or blink. Now look to the tip of your nose. Bring your gaze forward. I already start having tears in my eyes. May I close your eyes and relax. Next, gaze to the left. Make sure you're not turning your head. Hold the gaze and breathe naturally. Gaze forward, relax. Now gaze to your right. The tendency is your head might also turn towards the right. So hold your head fixed. Only the eyes are gazing to the right. Bring your gaze forward. Wrap your palms together. Hold your hands over your eyes. Mm. Let your eyes to relax. Feel the warmth of the palm.
for the next exercise, imagining there's this giant clock, the traditional clock, then the hands of the clock moves around behind your head. And now we're going to bring our gaze to the 12 clock. Now we're gonna move clockwise towards the one o'clock, two o'clock, and three o'clock. Keep moving the eyes to four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven, eight, nine o'clock, 10, 11, back to 12. Repeat this one more time. Remember, the clock is behind your head. Okay, you have to look really hard. Also, the, the, the clock is huge. Take up the entire wall. Now search for that 12 clock and continue. You are trying to send your gaze through your skull towards the back of your head to the upper right. Then look to your right ear for the three o'clock. Coming, look for that four o'clock, that five o'clock, and the six o'clock. The six o'clock is on the floor behind your feet. The seven, eight, and nine to the upper left, 10, 11, and 12. Yes, you, you made it. Now we're coming back, gaze forward, and close your eyes, relax for a few breaths. Open your eyes. Now we're gonna move our eyes, our gaze counterclockwise. Look up to that 12 o'clock. Now going for the 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, One, and back to 12 o'clock. All right, counterclockwise one more time. Really move your eyes thoroughly, imagining that huge giant clock behind you. You really have to look hard. When we work out, we tend to strengthen the muscles in the body, big or small, but we really work on the muscles in our eyes. This is our opportunity to strengthen the muscles in our eyes. They're so critical. We only have one pair of eyes. I notice my shoulders tensing up. So relax. Relax the shoulders. Relax your neck. Only the eyes are doing the exercise. Once you finished the counterclockwise rotation, close your eyes and relax for three breaths. Next, hold up your index finger. It can be from your left hand or right hand. Hold this finger about 12 inch in front of you. With your eyes staring at the fingertips, slowly moving this finger towards your nose and stop between your eyebrows. Pause. And then very slowly move it, move the finger away from your face with your eyes fixed on the fingertip. The good rule of thumb is moving the finger in to a count of 10, then hold for a count of 10 and slowly move it away from your face to a count of 10. Repeat this 10 times. Blink your eyes when needed. 
after the first couple of repetitions, you started to notice your eyes or the muscles in your eyes began to struggle. As we are adjusting the focal distance of the lens, this adjustment effectively strengthens the, the medial rectus muscle and uh, help to retain the elasticity of the ciliary ligament. Not only this exercise will help to relax the muscles, to help to relieve eye fatigues, but ultimately it helps to retain the elasticity of the lens in our eyes. It will help to slow down the aging of the lens, which can reduce eye fatigues and uh, to prevent or delay the occurrence of the presbyopia. When we were born, the lenses are extremely elastic, almost like the gummy bears. But as we age, the elasticity of the lens goes down, and this is universal. Often, as soon as you turned 40 years old, you realized that you have to push things further away from your face in order to read. That is because we are no longer able to zoom focus. As the years go by, the lens become even more stiff and began to lose its optic clarity. And eventually, it become opaque. It might result in cataract one day. So make this a regular exercise of yours. It will help to delay the aging of the lens. It's never too late to start, but start early if you can. Don't wait. I think by now your eyes are very fatigued. Bring your hands over your eyes and relax. These few simple exercises doesn't take very long to do. You can even do it in front of your computer. Just remember removing your glasses and your contact lenses before the exercise. I wish I paid attention to exercises like this when I was younger. So friends, please take care. I hope you find this video is helpful. Please consider to subscribe to support my effort to spread, to spread, to spread Great. traditional Chinese medicine based self care techniques to help us to live to our optimal health. Please do share this video with your friends. Sharing is caring.